Hey, hope you're well. In this one, we're taking another look at the Matchfit Microjig dovetail clamp system that I put into my workshop MFT bench a whopping eight months ago. So yes, it really has been that long, and it's rare that a week goes by without somebody finding that video popping up in the comments and asking me a question or two about it. So I thought I'd condense those questions down into a quick video uh, and try and answer some of those and give a little bit of feedback on this. I said at the time that I was fairly neutral about these. I think I compared myself to Switzerland. And I've got to be honest, after eight months of using them, I still am. Uh, some people love the Matchfit Microjig dovetail clamp system. I am not one of those people. I don't hate it, but eight months of use, eight months later on, I certainly don't love it. Uh, it I'm, I'm entirely ambivalent about it, to be perfectly honest. I, I understand the benefits of it. I think the quality of the product, I mentioned at the time in the previous video, that the, the quality of the clamps is outstanding. The quality of the router bits that you get are excellent. But I just don't see the utility of it that other people see in my setup. Let me, let me show you what I mean. So I've got a few problems generally. One main one is that I have 20 years more or less of regular MFT muscle memory to work against. Uh, we'll come to that one in a sec. The, the biggest issue really is that the workshop MFT is in a run of benches. So you've got a bench on either side and you've got clear access from the front, but access to the rear is, is quite difficult. So getting a clamp in at the sides is okay, but I also have a sacrificial strip for the MFT, which means that if I want to get it in over here somewhere, I've either got to bring it in from this side or take the strip off. Uh, I can get to the front easily enough. I can get to some of these bits. But if I ever start setting something out, and you know, you can, Clamp this up. That's all fine. You get another clamp in here. And now you realize you do the clamp on the top. The only way to do that, if you can't get one into the hole, is that you then got to take that fence off and fight your way through the clamps and stuff that are on here to get <laughs> to get that in, except of course it's a non-compatible clamp and you need the match fit one. Uh, and then you realize actually you want it to come in from the other side because you're working on something from the top. And then you've got to take it off, turn it round, bring it back in again. And it's just a pain in the neck. So one of the other issues I've got is around just general compatibility. I said in the first video, I'm a Traxxor guy. I'm an MFT guy. Lots of muscle memory with that. Lots of guide rails. Lots of T-Track. To have clamps that only fit in these dovetail slots and that they can be used in the, in the holes admittedly, but to not be able to use them in guide rails other than Makita, and not to be able to use the regular rail clamps in here is just infuriating. It's, it's maddening to have to think about that on that sort of level. And one of the other issues that I've got is actually to do with the dovetail shape, although the dovetail shape will give more clamping pressure but the problem that that shape gives you is that it actually supplies a remarkable amount of leverage sideways. And I did catch this clamp a couple of times on this bit of the bench, and it's just pinged these sections off. You can see here as well, it started to go in this front section, and it wouldn't take much just to split that off. That's in part to do with this MDF. Uh, this is Fincer's fibre colour. It's not a moisture resistant MDF. So it doesn't have that same density of the core that something like Hydrofuga does. And it's not worn well, I've got to say. This is probably going to be replaced 
in the next couple of months or so um, and whether I use the same material or whether I go with perhaps a plywood one will probably depend on whether or not I plan to keep uh, the Matchfit Microjig dovetail clamps. Uh, one of the questions that comes up a lot is did the bench sag at all with all these extra grooves in it and the truth is yes it did. It took about a month or so for it to be noticeable but there was a definite dip in the center. Um, this is bigger than a regular MFT and this does have a join in the back end of it but it was easily resolved simply by adding a piece of bracing oops, underneath here, a piece of 2x2 two two, uh, just screwed in from the sides and a couple of screws from underneath just to keep it together and that's all it took. Um, it does get in the way of the clamps a little bit in the centre if you're using the holes but I will take that slight inconvenience over a sagging top any day. <laughs> so what's to be done with this? Do we just give up on it and do something else? Well no, I'm going to give it, whoops, there you go, I'm going to give it a few more months. As I say, this top is going to, replace, is going to be replaced before too long. What I'm going to do is, to make life a little bit easier for myself, I'm just going to route out these grooves far enough back so that I'm going to clamp it in here from this end. In fact, I'll probably take it all the way back to here. The white pencil. Just so that it resolves that awkward not being able to get a clamp in from that side. Uh, I've got a slightly different router to use and I'm just going to open these up with a half inch 12.7 mil bit and we'll see if that makes enough of a difference to make all this worthwhile. I'm using a couple of one millimeter packers between the straight edge of the bench dogs to get the bit centered and opening up the back section of the dovetail groove in a single pass. Then it's rinse and repeat all along the width of the bench top. and working off the inside face of the straight edge for the final pass at the far side. So there we go, a small improvement made I think. Uh, with extending those slots out like that, I think that'll make a big difference in terms of my usage of the Matchfit Micro Jig dovetail clamp system in my situation. Uh, but it's just something perhaps to be aware of if you are thinking about investing in this. Uh, just have a think about how you use your bench, where your bench is situated, and be aware that you really ought to have access to all four sides in order to make the most out of the system. Uh, I'll call this one done for now though. Thanks so much for taking a look. As I said, just a, a quick catch up, eight months on. Uh, I'll continue to use this for a little bit longer until it comes uh, time to replace the top on the MFT bench here. And then I'll make a decision about whether to continue to the, uh, with the Matchfit system, whether to try a regular T-slot routed into the top or just to go back to a plain MOT with a grid of holes. But that's it for this one. Thanks so much for taking a look and I'll see you again very soon. All right, take care.